Oh, in Atlantic City. And they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Cotto's in a real tough spot now. There's no doubt about it that the eye has worsened. That cut is really looking ugly right here. What does he have to think about right now? Is it time to just take the realization that, hey, this fight could end at any moment? Yeah, well, there's two things to that. First of all, the cut man's done his job. He's put the coagulum into Ricky Hatton's hit flush by a right hand. How about that angle by Miguel Cotto? That was good stuff. Yeah, that's how you break up pressure. Guys coming at you, you know, trains coming at you. You don't go back on the track because it's going to hit you. You go off the track on the side. Exactly what he did. And that train went right past him. Give credit to Ricky Hatton. Defensively flawed. He paid the price. But now he's trying to get himself back into this fight. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Ricky Hatton's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Ricky Hatton with a big right. He gets off with a combination up top. Teddy, what do you think of Kodo tonight? Well, about the same as I would think if I'm going to go into a barber shop. I mean, I know what to expect. I'm going to get my hair cut. Well, if you're fighting Kodo, you're going to get your body hit. Big left hand from Ricky Hatton. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. A big hook to the head by Miguel Cotto. How about that left hand? When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxes are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Hatton's combination punching is working well here. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Ricky Hatton's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Well, this is hard to believe, but the great run of Miguel Cotto may be coming to an end. The ref is looking to stop this fight, possibly. It's not over yet. Fighters are going to have a special career. Cotto may still have that career. They find a way to survive when it looks really bleak. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Good work, toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Hatton's probably one of those guys that has that clock in his head, trying to think about how much time is left in this round after getting hurt. Yeah, he is, and I can speak on that because I happened to go to his training camp before this fight, and I watched him train a little bit. He got shooken up a little bit in sparring. He knew what to do. He grabbed, he walked around, he killed a little time. He's got to do it now. Not hitting his mark there. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down, and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old-timers would say, take a walk around the block. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Hits him in the mug with the right. Solid left hand to the head. And we come to the end of round number two. He can't see out of that eye, Teddy. It is swollen shut, and now the ref is taking a look. And he should be taking a look, and I think he's going to bring the doctor up pretty soon to look at it himself. Patton's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. 
right back to the work up top. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the head shot. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Ricky Hatton. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Close the jam. Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Big left hand from the hitman Hatton. Hatton's mouth is cut, you can see it. Miguel Cotto's hurt by a big shot. Hatton's doing well here with that two punch count. Solid, Miguel Cotto opened up, and he was taken down. Good power shot from his opponent. Miguel Cotto looking to fight on after being floored. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Ricky Hatton's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Well, if anything has been learned from the first three rounds is that sometimes just being the busier fighter will do well for you. And that's the case right now for him as he's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, not always landing a lot. You put it very well, Joe. Not always landing a lot. But keeping his opponent defensive and keeping him from doing what he wants. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. something for him himself and it's a left hand <laughs> on the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time nice work on the right hand by Ricky Hat Hatton's gotten through that choppy portion of the sea battle right here. I think he's going to be fine. Combo lands to the head. Missed that uppercut. The beating has ended. That is enough. Unanswered punches. The ref stops it. It's a TKO victory. You gotta defend yourself. And he was taking a bad, bad beating. This 